I just had my birthday. I turned 37 and now I am old. Boom, just like that. I knew it was coming 37, though I wasn't thinking about it too much or even seeing it as a big birthday the way 40 will be. It was just another birthday. And like with so many things in life, a due date, say, or a book coming out, it snuck up on me. I've always been struck at how not at all different you are when your birthday finally arrives after all that build up. It's almost a letdown. You wake up and you're still just you. Same old, same old. But this year, washing my face just before I woke my kids for school, I caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror and saw wrinkles. Deep, significant, there to stay wrinkles, and I swear they weren't there the night before. And so it really was lucky for me that I happened to be a big fan of wrinkles. I've even joined the Bring Back Wrinkles group on Facebook. I guess the downside of wrinkles is that they remind you you're not young anymore. But guess what? I already knew that. And I'm not even sure I would want to be young again, frankly, as fun as it was. I'm on a book tour this week, and one of my stops has taken me to a little town north of Seattle where my best friend from college lives. Last time I saw her was at my wedding nine years ago. She's hanging out with me right now at a hotel room, working on her computer just like I am working on mine. We both have a lot going on, and it's pretty quiet in here except for the typing. But every few minutes, one of us will pipe up and say, Remember when we got obsessed with dominoes and couldn't stop playing? Or, Remember when we found that train car diner in Maine? Or, Remember that time we played that drinking game watching When Harry Met Sally? A lot has changed since then. I've had two children and written two books. She's opened the restaurant she always dreamed of. We are, in fact, living exactly the lives we hoped for. And so I'm not going to complain about the wrinkles, or that I'm not 22 anymore, or that life carries you away from people and places you loved, or that the joys of life have to be spread out over time. You can't have everything all at once. That's what memories are for. And also, gratitude. You loved them once. You really did love them, and that just has to be enough.